Hello grade fives. This is what we're going to do today. We're going to look at the next strategy we have for multiplying and this is a really important one. We will do this a lot in the next little while and it's called annexing zeros and then adding zeros. Now the interesting thing is this word annexing is probably a word that you're not very familiar with. What we mean it, what we want it to mean here is you're basically canceling out zeros. So we're getting rid of zeros and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually add them on the end to make life easier. So let's just begin with this first example. First example is 2,500 times 200. And some of us might look at this and say, hey, these are big numbers. I'm not sure what to do. Well, the first step here is annex zeros. So get rid of some zeros. So I'm going to just put a line through the first zero, second zero, third zero, fourth zero. This only works for zeros that are on the end of the numbers. So for example, if you had a number like 205, you couldn't just cut out that zero in the middle. That would not work. So it only works for those zeros that are kind of trailing at the end of a number. And so what you do here is we do our multiplication. And most of us recognize, hey, 25 times 2, that is equal to 50. And then the last step we do is we annexed 1, 2, 3, 4. So we need to put on 4 zeros at the end. So 2,500 times 200 is equal to 500,000. Let's try one more example here just to make sure that you've, you're comfortable with this. So first thing we do is let's annex a zero. Then what we can do is we can do 17 times 2. We're familiar with that. We can do that. So doubling 17, that's equal to 34. Now don't forget, we annexed a zero, so we have to add one zero on at the end. So 17 times 20 is equal to 340. Hope this helps.